What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video I wanted to go through some of the bugs that have been introduced into Conan Exiles for console with the update 2.5 and one of those bugs it seems like is only on server play so the bug that i'm referring to is the bug that shows an outline of very bright white when you are running around the exiled lands at night I have not been able to duplicate this or replicate this on my solo game. As you can see, I am running around and nothing is shining up bright white like it would be if I was playing on a server. Another bug that's been happening in both the console version and the PC version of this game has to do with your crafting menu or your inventory in your crafting station. So as you can see, the inventory for this crafting station is completely full. If I craft a jug here, it's actually going to disappear. Now this is just a visual bug. If I go out and back into the inventory, you can see I now can scroll down and retrieve that jug. But if if you stay in the inventory essentially it looks like that is completely gone like it's not there and you cannot find it so the workaround is to not look at the bench while you're crafting or if you are looking at the bench exit out and then go back in and you'll be able to see what you've crafted a pretty major bug for those of you that play on solo or those of you that are admins on servers if we go to the spawn npcs you can see there is absolutely nothing in the npc list and even if we search in here say for berserker just like that you can see nothing actually comes up in that list so you're currently not able to spawn in any npcs on the console version of the game now this is a pretty fun little bug for anybody that wants legendary weapons and you can do this actually at any level. You no longer have to be level 60 to open skeleton key chests, but right now you don't even need to have a skeleton key. As you can see, we can see what's in the inventory. Let me show you what's in my inventory. No skeleton key in there but I can't interact with the chest. It says you need a key to open this. However, if I do hit triangle, I can loot all. And there you go, you can see I did just pick up the watch blade. That is now mine to keep. And even if you don't need the legendary weapons from these chests, these are great to put in the dismantle bench and get the star metal bars. This next one is on both console and PC. So if you look where I'm at, we are right here. Let's see if I get that to pull up the name. Come on, there it is, the Scuttler's Shortcut. So, Scuttler's Shortcut is where you were supposed to go to learn Zath on the Exiled Lands. The guy that teaches it was all the way down in the bottom of this cave, near the Demon Spider. However, at this point in time in the game, he is not actually spawning in here. Now, I don't know whether that means that they moved him to another location and didn't say anything about it, or if this happens to just be a bug causing him not to actually display in this location. However, I am going to run in here and show you exactly where he is supposed to spawn, or maybe I should say exactly where he was spawning prior to this patch, and that way you know where to look in future patches. And this is a location right here where he used to spawn. You could come down here. You could totally stay away from the demon spider, interact with him, and learn Zath. Another bug that has to do with the admin panel is they added this option for no building costs. And as you can see, as I press up and down trying to get to the no building costs option, it just jumps right over it. So there's no way for you to get to the no building costs option on console right now. And this is a great feature because prior to this, what you had to do was spawn in every single piece that you wanted to use in your build. Once you have access to the no building cost option, you can actually just spawn in one piece and place as many as you want as long as that box is ticked. But you currently can't access that box, meaning we have yet another bug on console. 
The last and probably the most important thing that I'm going to tell you guys to stay away from is the Orb of Nurgle. This is currently not working in the game at all if you're on console, and I will interact with this in just a moment so you can see what's actually going on. But if you do interact with this, it is going to require you to quit the game through your dashboard. So let's interact with it. And I'm actually going to hold my controller very close to my microphone here in hopes that you can actually hear the button presses that I'm doing on my controller. So I am literally pressing every single button. Now you can see that I can turn myself around and look at myself. However, when I press every single button, it does absolutely nothing. There is no way to interact with the Orb of Nurgle UI, causing you to have to dashboard in order to be able to play the game anymore. And this is happening both on solo games as well as server games and on both of the consoles currently. Now all of these bugs that I've covered today have been reported on the forums, so I'd be expecting a hotfix to solve these issues. Now if you enjoyed this video or this video helped you, please go ahead and whack that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what bugs have you run across. Have you seen any of these yourself? The whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters. Thank you very much. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not a subscriber, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video. Now, if you're not done watching, there's two videos on the screen. You could pick one of those to watch next. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace.